Hello, hello, welcome to Shading Way. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a Sterling Revisits Putbacks and um, Clearance Cell. This is all Sterling, it has all been tested. Um, there is a couple of 800 pieces that are vintage, um, but it is all Sterling Silver and 800 um, Silver Jewelry. Hope everybody is doing wonderful. I'm not going to spend too much time on these because you've all seen them before um, if you've um, been on my channel. If you haven't, um, you can go back and look for details in older videos. And thank everybody for being here today. We really, really appreciate it. This is my um, Friday mix-up. And I just thought I'd bring these to you. And if they don't sell, I am going to take these um, back to the auction. So um, I thought I'd offer them to you first. If you see something you're interested in, simply send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. Um, send us in that email a timestamp and description of the item that you're interested in. If you are first it will, um, I will let you know, I'll let you know either way, but if you're first, it's first come, first serve, first dibs, and um, shipping is $5 in the United States. Anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. So I'm just going to scoot these over just a little because I don't want anything getting um, tangled because a lot of these were really tangled. I guess I just threw them in bags. So, I just spread it out like so. And let's do the rings first. Let me get my sizer right here. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, um, be sure to send that email because we do not accept requests from our comments. And if you haven't already, um, take a moment and subscribe to our channel. You would appreciate it. We are um, getting closer and closer to uh 3,000 subscribers, and we would love to um, reach that soon, <laughs> and we can't do that without you, so take a moment, um, look down below to be sure that you are subscribed, and um, also I'm going to start doing some shorts and showing you some jewelry in those shorts and maybe a little bit of a quick snip of history and I'm not going to be putting those up at the same time so be sure you hit that um, bell to all so you're notified when we do um, put up any type of video okay these are um, the rings that I'm gonna do um, this one is I think this one split yeah you can see that it's split a little bit it looks like they probably sized it but it is a sloth and it's holding on like so and um it is a size you can also take it to your jeweler and they can put a quick dab of sterling on that to hold it together but this is a size six and a quarter and um it's just really cute as a midi ring also um, because it just sits perfectly right there um but on this one i'm gonna do um, since you have to go and get that um, fixed, I'm going to say just $15. This one's really pretty. This one is marked uh, with a lot of stuff, actually. It says 925 uh, Diamondique Cubic Zirconia. And then I think it's Thailand. And there's one more mark, but I can't read that one. A lot of QBC um, jewelry makers have their um, jewelry done in Thailand, so that's quite um, normal. So when you see Thailand, don't discount what you're finding because a lot of them are designer rings. And a lot of people see China or Thailand and they're like, oh, that's not any good. But actually some really um, high-end designers have things made there. This is a seven and a quarter. It is a beautiful um, Diamondique uh, Cubic Zirconia, um, which is QVC's um, 
uh, cubic zirconia. It's just, um, that's exclusively the name they use. And um, this is uh, Marquee, a beautiful setting with the flowers on the side, open cut, um, high um, prong set. And on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do $20. Now this one is also another one that is really beautiful on the inside and out. Um, and it has, let me see if this one's marked. Is marked 925ZEI. These are beautiful diamonds. I generally do not move my um, gem tester. The more you move it, the more problems you're going to have with it. So here it is close up. It is gorgeous. It's all along here, here, around. It's a surround and then two lines on the sides. And we're starting off with it at the end. It's probably going to beep at us because they're small. But there you go. They're all diamonds. Let me see if I can get this one in the center. <laughs> Sorry guys, I keep slipping off. There's the diamond. But this is a gorgeous, look at them all. As I said, it's on two sides on each side, a surround and also in the center. I'm gonna try to zoom that because it is a beauty. See how the, it's like little flowers of sterling around the diamonds. And on this, it is a size seven. So let me move this back because it is tight. So this is gorgeous, but I am going to do, um, I'm gonna do 65 on this one because it is just a stunner. Um, so $65. Then we have this one that is marked 925. And it has another marking, but I can't read it. And let me test these right here. This one is really cute. It is a buckle, bright, uh, buckled ring. It has one diamond right there um, let's see I'm gonna have to go in tight again to show you so you can see it it's right there and that's one diamond the rest of it is just a faux um, mark sites they are not real so on this one did I show you a size yet it's a size 8 so I'm gonna do just $18 and the last one we have is this one. This is a modernist um, onyx, um, sterling silver. And I'm trying to remember, this one's signed just um, 925. And this one is a size seven and a quarter. And on this one, I'm gonna do just $18. Really cool modernist design, I love that. Okay, next we have this Taxco. Um, it has the Eagle 2 on it. It is um, nine two five Mexico. And I can't read the um, initials, but it's one of the older ones before the 70s. And... Um, It is a cute little box. There's the hinge. It opens up um, inside. It's pretty cool. These are doing well still. I finally read it. It is CCR. Um, there is many online around the 250 to 300 mark, but I'm just gonna do 65 on this one. Let me give you a size of it. It is super 
uh, patina. It is one inch by half inch by three fourths of an inch. Uh, but that is a beauty. Let's do these on this side. Um, These are all topaz. These are gorgeous. So you have white topaz, and in the very center, it is blue. Let me be sure I'm right on that. Yes. So these are bars on the sides, and then four rounds, four bars, and a square topaz in the center. Isn't that beautiful? It is in gold tone. It is signed on the back. 925 and RSE. And the chain is also tagged with Nine two five, Italy RSE. So it's the original chain with the pendant. The chain is eighteen inches. The pendant is one inch by five eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say let's do thirty dollars for the topaz. Now this is a uh, Florida Lay. Um, I believe these are cubic zirconia. Let me just check to be sure. Yes. Um, but a beautiful Florida Lay. It is signed on the back. Nine two five cubic zirconia. Maybe I should have looked at that first. <laughs> the chain is also signed. Um, 925 JCM. I think the floor lay on the back also said that. It is um, adjustable with an extension, um, but using the extension, the length of the chain is 18 inches. The floor lay is an inch and a quarter by um, seven eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm going to say $18. We have this beauty. This is a cubic zirconia or crystal. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely faceted. Um, look at the facets in the back. And also along the edges, the center is flat. I don't see any um, chips or break. I do see one um, flea bite right on the edge right here that is tiny and I can't see it with my naked eye um, but that is a stunner this chain is also signed it's one of the older um, class and it's signed on the back uh, sterling written out with TK and TK was a big, I think it's True King, I believe what TK is. And it is a 19 inch chain. And on this one, I'm going to say uh, $22. And we have this one that is initial pen or brooch. Not a pen, not a brooch. Get it in my head. <laughs> it's a sterling silver initial necklace, GBS. And I believe when the center is the same as all of them, it's all across the board. So GBS. And um, it's a lobster clasp that's um, 925. It is a size... Uh, 17 inch with the initials being an inch and a half by an inch and a half. 
And I'm going to say um, just, and that's a really nice uh, rope chain. And I'm going to say um, just $10 on the initials. Now we have some bracelets. Oh, we have a couple more necklaces. Let's do those first. This one is um, a bar and a gold tone um, with an extension. It is signed um, on a lobster clasp, uh, 925. China in on one side. And on the back of here, it says N925 China. And this one is, as I said, is a gold tone. It's a cable chain. It is 16 inches with an additional inch and three fourths. And I think it has hairspray on it here. So it needs to be cleaned. But I'm just gonna say um, $10 on that one. Then we have this gorgeous chain this is a rope chain and it's a French rope chain it is um, a round roller class or safety class some people hate when I very call it a roller class um, it is uh, 20 29 inches isn't that beautiful? And on this one, I'm going to say $32. And then this one is Onyx and Marcosite. Lovely. I do not see any Missy Marcosite on there. It is signed on the back um, 925. B A and an oval, and it is a box chain. Again, with the safety roller class, it is 18 inches. Now this one has matching earrings. There and here. Let me see if there's any missing marcasites. There is not. It's also signed the same way as the necklace and it does have the original backs so on this one I'm going to say for the earrings I'm doing $15 and uh, the necklace I'm going to do for 20 but that's a beautiful set here we have a beautiful sterling silver made in Italy lobster clasp um, bracelet it is seven and a quarter inches and it is really cool and um, modernistic with the um, um, openings in these and the um, hinges are just really thin I think they're gorgeous. And on this one, I'm doing $15. Now this one is a uh, Greek key and that is really nice. It is double um, safety bars. It is signed 925 and Thailand. Uh, that's the back. It says FAS on this side, and it slides in like so, and then does the two safety bars on each side. And that's it. It is a size seven inch, and I'm gonna say on this one, uh, $15. There it is. Now this one is pretty, this one, is great patina it's a fold over clasp it is signed sterling 
W-R-E. Isn't that pretty? It is a size seven and a half. And I'm gonna do just $15. These are great prices on the sterling silver. Um, this one is mixed metal. It is, let me be sure about it. I think this one's signed. Let me see. This is a uh, diadema. It is a cubic zirconia. It is a copper cross and copper um, circles and then sterling silver on the rest of it. It is, has an extension and a lobster clasp. It is six and three fourths of an inch with an additional um, one and a quarter inch. So on this one, I'm doing $15. We have one more bracelet. Oh no, we have two more. Yeah, this one is a stunner. This one's marked here, 925, 925. It is a curb chain and it is really a nice size. It's seven, it's an eight inch curb chain. Let me test this one. I did not test this one again. It was in my sterling. Yeah. And there's your blue. Like I said, I've tested all of these. There was a couple that came in at the last minute. So on this one, I'm going to do um, $30. That is a beauty. And then the cuff on my hand is amethyst, maybe sure, yes, is amethyst, um, sterling silver, and it is um, just a cuff, and it is also an eight inch cuff. And this one um, is going to be $35. And then the last one I have is milk glass, and I believe these are glass. Yes. So it's white milk glass beads and then pink and blue um, bezel set um, beads. Um, lobster class. It is seven and a quarter inch and I'm doing $18 on that one. Now we have some brooches. We have this menorah. It is done with seed beads, um, sterling silver. It's a brooch and it is not, oh it is. It's signed out sterling, so it's an older brooch. This I believe is an inch by an inch. Yes, inch by an inch. But isn't that gorgeous? I love the colors in this too. So on this one, I'm gonna do $20. We have this um, sterling, and I'm trying to see where the sterling is. It's spelled out right there, sterling. It's a floral brooch. It is two and a quarter inch by a three fourths of an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say um, just $12. That is a really nice one. Um, here, it's my favorite of the night. It is signed 925. It is an older um, back. It is the grumpy cat and he's puffy. You can see how he puffs up. And um, let me give you a size on this one. It is an inch and a half by about an inch. And on this one, I'm going to do $35. Look at that little grumpy face. I love that. We have two birds and it's spelled out um, sterling on each one. Lots of patina. And they 
are the same, but I'm gonna sell them separately and I'm just gonna say $10 a piece. This one is um, an inch and a half by an inch and three eighths. And I'm just gonna do $10 on each one. Then we have this one. It's signed on the back. Sterling um, Coral Craft. Uh, that is beautiful. It is textured in two tone, and I'm gonna say um, twelve dollars on that one. There's this one that is two leaves and a flower, and then the stem. It is. Let me see where it's marked. Some of these are just impossible to find. I don't see it. I'm gonna go test it real quick. It's like butter. Um, I just don't remember testing that one. Got a bubble. And there's your blue already. So on this one, I'm going to say, um, this is from the 40s. And I'm gonna say, let's do um, $25. This one is fabulous. This is signed um, 925 and um, EC. It is a um, C clasp. It is llamas and um, a man. And um, it has three warrior um, totem poles. And on this one, it is an inch and five eighths and counting the three dangles, it is the longest one is one and seven eighths. And on this one, I'm gonna say $35. Gorgeous um, patina on that one also. We have this one, it is signed 800. It is a gold tone um, butterfly. And um, there's no colors on it except for the gold tone and a little bit of the patina sterling coming through. And I'm gonna say, let's do 25 on that one. It is a size inch and a half by an inch. And I'm gonna say $25. This one is signed right here in the middle. It's spelled out Sterling and um, an older um, pen bag. This one is a light gold. Um, it's textured and also engraved with little flowers. And let me give you a size on this one. It is three inches by an inch and an eighth, and I'm just gonna say $10 on that one. Uh, I think that's, that's the last pen I have. It is um, a brooch and a pendant. It is signed, made in Ireland, and um, nine two five. It has on the back a slight gold tone. I cannot remember what this is called, but it's like the Irish marble, and I just can't remember that stone. Somebody will tell us in the um, comments. I believe it has a slight gold wash, and this is stunning. This is an inch and a half. I mean, an inch and three-fourths. That is stunning, especially with um, St. Patty's Day coming. Um, so on that one, I'm going to say $40. This one is a rattle with Mother of Pearl at the top. It is signed, um, spelled out Sterling. And on this one, I'm gonna say just $20. 
$20 and on the front it has the buckle um, imprint. It's not a real buckle, it's just an imprint of a buckle. And it's a teething ring or a rattle. Now, earrings, we have these beauties. These are um, brass and sterling. They're strips. And I'm going to say 15 for these. We have these that are um, gold over sterling. And they're really cool. They're like a J. And on these, I'm going to do $15. Then we have um, these earrings that are clip-ons. They are signed 925. And I can't make out what the symbol is. But they're clip-ons. They're sterling silver. And they're like Art Deco. Um, really patinaed. And I'm going to say $12 on those. Then we have a few pendants. We have this um, diamond cut cross, uh, diamond cross peace sign. It is signed on the back 925. That's going to be $12. We have this abalone heart um, with open filigree design. That is beautiful. It is signed 925 right here in the corner. Oh, let me tell you, the piece sign is seven-eighths of an inch. The um, mixed metals is an inch and a half. And the abalone heart is seven-eighths of an inch, including the bell, an inch and an eighth. So on this one, I'm going to say $15.00. That abalone is stunning. There's the bag. We have the palm tree that is, um, this is the front with the um, lines in the palm tree bottom. It is signed 925. And um, this one isn't signed, but this I know is a Mexico piece. It is a big bale, which is fabulous. Great patina. It's an inch and three-fourths by an inch. And I'm going to say just $18 on the palm tree. We have the little um, dog um, that is signed on the back, 925. It is cubic zirconia. And I believe it's clear. And on this one, let me get you a size. It is seven eighths of an inch by a half inch. And on this one, I'm just gonna say $12. And then on the last piece, this is signed um, Mexico 925. Taxco, and I can't read what the number is. So a really cool piece. This is three fourths of an inch by three fourths of an inch. I didn't count the bell on that one, but it is three dimensional, it has the hole in the back. And on this one, I'm gonna say $15. I have two mystery bags available for $25. I take a priority padded envelope, fill it, as full as I can with jewelry, and that is $25 plus the shipping. So I have two of those, and then I also have our last Goodwill box. I have that. Everything that it was not on the sold list is available. Also, $25 plus the shipping. So all you need to let me know is if you want the mystery box or the mystery bags, or you want the Goodwill bag. As I said, they only have the one Goodwill bag. So let me know. These are some gorgeous revisits. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining me on the today's Friday mix-up. Everybody, thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us, and we will see you on the next one. Bye!